Well, this is a BM800 microphone. There's so much talk about this uh, microphone and also the V8 sound card. Earlier, I posted here on my channel the uh, um, the inside or what is inside of the V8 sound card. Now, I also want to show you what is inside of uh, this microphone, the, the BM800. So, I'll take out the uh, windscreen so this is just a gold plated um, this houses the uh, diaphragm and the capsule or the, the entire capsule of the microphone so if you can see this is um, XLR connector um, this pin is uh, configured as 1, 2 and 3 the well, pin 1 is the ground uh, pin it means this is connected to the to earth or to the to the case of the any devices or to the amplifier or to the ground wire so this ground pin is needed for the pantone supply so if you can see a microphone with a XLR connector it means it needs pantone power okay so let's try to open this one by just uh, rotating this one, okay. Okay, you can see this is just, this is just a globe. Then we move, let's remove the body, the the frame. Now, if you can see here, there's a small circuit board. This particular circuit board is a an integrated preamplifier, meaning a preamplifier inside this microphone system. Or microphone unit and if you check or there are small items here on here up this one is a elect electrolytic capacitor um, it can store large amount of power the value there is one microfarad 50 volts and there are also integrated circuits here I believe this works as its amplifier. There are no other uh, components except integrated circuits and this one, this capacitor. Now, the wires here are connected to the capsule of this microphone and eventually to the diaphragm. So, let's open this uh, microphone. It needs a precision screwdriver. So, okay, this is just a cover, it's a gold plated, and this is now the circuit. So, from the pre amplifier here, it's connected directly to the capsule. This is the capsule, the, the whole, the whole uh, unit, and the diaphragm is the one that is creating the uh, electromagnetic process okay the bm800 microphone is a um, electric type of condenser so actually it doesn't need power because one of the elements here is already uh, polarized or it has already induced with a polarized voltage so actually it doesn't need a power supply but since it has an a built-in pre-amplifier so it needs a power supply it's it's uh it needs a phantom power supply it's uh it might be a battery inside the microphone compartment or um an outside or an external um, power supply like the bantam power uh, supply the phantom box um, this is the diaphragm. If you can see here, the white one the outside. Uh, this is the plate of the uh, diaphragm. It's permanent. Then inside is the membrane. Yung parang uh, gaze. <laughs> yung, yung parang wires na yan. Once we blow our voice, the sounds uh, could create an energy that. Uh, could force that membrane to react so mababibrate siya 
and that vibration could create an electrical signal that will be processed through the preamplifier. So you can position the um, the microphone like this, vertical position, and the pickup pattern should be like a heart because this is a cardioid microphone. Or you can do the horizontal like that. And again, the pickup pattern is like a heart. One of the purpose why we opened the BM800 microphone is to determine if this microphone really needs a phantom power or a separate phantom box or it really needs to have a power supply rather than just inserting this directly to the V8 um, sound card. Uh, let, let us also check the V8 800 if indeed it supplied power to the BM800 microphone. Um, as you can see at the back panel of the V8 uh, V8 um, sound card there are two inputs for microphones the bigger one is the dynamic microphone which obviously you don't need a phantom power supply for the uh, dynamic microphones while the condenser microphones basically needs a phantom power so we'd like to know if the V8 has a phantom supply to the condenser mic like the VM800 microphones so check the circuit here but um, there's no way of finding out if indeed there is a phantom power supply the manual of this uh, V8 sound card also doesn't speak about phantom power supply but the uh, condenser mic the, especially the BM800 works on this uh, sound card which also serves as a pre-amplifier and mini amplifier um, to check if indeed the V8 has a pound tom power supply, so I have to measure the uh, output from the connector. Uh, this is already connected to the V8 and the V8 is already powered on. So we'll try to check. Um, the terminal number one is the ground pin, so put the black uh, probe here and the probe on the number two. Check. The voltage is only 3.34 volts DC. It's the recurrent. It's like a battery. Now the standard for phantom power should be 12 volts, 24 volts, and 48 volts. And usually it is 48 volts. That's why the most common available uh, phantom power supply, that black box, <laughs> is 48 volts. So I think uh, the V8 phantom volt power is not enough for the um, BM800. I think it is advisable to use a, B a uh, phantom uh, power supply, a separate phantom power supply for the BM800, and you connect the phantom power supply to the V8 sound card. Okay, to wrap up this short review of the BM800 or what is inside the BM800 microphone, I'm uh, returning back the unit to the V8 sound card, so it's already connected and the sound card is already turned on. So I'd, 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 I'd like to test it again. Uh, in fact, right now I'm using the uh, microphone and uh, I would just advise you how to use this microphone. Since this is the diaphragm, you can see the diaphragm here that's flat and the back is uh, also showing the uh, microphone wire so you cannot use this side of the microphone so you should always use like this one it's either you position vertically you speak directly in front of the diaphragm or you can speak uh, from here horizontal position that's the one I am I have been using in, in my previous blogs so it can be here or directly speak in front of the diaphragm so the microphone is in vertical position so that's it for now and we have bus we have concluded that the BM800 microphone still needs a phantom power supply if you are using the V8 sound card because the voltage output of the V8 sound card is too small for the BM800 microphone you can 
uh, use the ex- the external B uh, phantom power supply, the the one in black box, and you connect that to the V8 sound card. So it, it should be the connection should be BM800 microphone to the sound to the uh, phantom power box and the phantom power box output to the V8 sound card. That should be the process. Or you can just directly connect the BM800 microphone to any mixer amplifier that has a built-in phantom power. And that will be good for this microphone. So, so that's it. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and click that uh, bell button so that you will be notified of videos like this in the future. Dagan salamat. Ako si Jun Tariman.